We got Eminem's daughter, right? Now, she is claiming to be binary. What that means, she don't consider herself to adhere to one gender or the other. It's just um, kind of lift up in the air. You know what I'm saying? And uh, there's so many different forms, you know, different forms of sexuality and gender preference, so on and so forth. It's um, just a product of an unnatural society. We're very densely populated. We've got Industrial size, infants and power, politicians, celebrities that don't have any point to their existence, overgrown toddlers. <laughs> it is what it is, man. But um, everybody's kind of choosing to hyper focus on something that's not really fulfilling. It's not really sustainable. It's not really essential. It's not solution based. Our planet won't benefit from it. The environment won't benefit from it. It won't help forge solutions regarding world destroying cycles it won't help stand against corruption or destruction or division or chaos or mayhem or resentment or anxiety or depression or addiction but that's what people want to do whether it's the individual who's confused in regards to their sexual preference or gender whether it's the individual who's got the skin tight designer jeans on you know what i mean and uh they're doing creepy little things like playboy cardi with you know, hyper-feminized, hyper-sexual tendencies and dances and their genitalia regions printing through their skin-tight little $8,000 designer britches with their diamonds. And we all know how diamonds are acquired. We're not going to go into detail because, anyways, it's an obstacle in regards to our movement. Unfortunately, we're sabotaged continually due to the realities we attempt to relay. So we have to choose when and where we relay them. And right now, it's going to be a little censored, homie, a little dialed down in hopes of this video reaching individuals and not being sabotaged by the algorithm. So I'm going to go ahead and touch down yet again and clarify. Eminem's daughter, she's about 19 years old. She's been giving statements uh, throughout the years saying I'm becoming more and more comfortable with who I am or who I might be or who I'm going to choose to be someday or whatever it is. Obviously, like majority of her populace, regardless of whether it's a gender issue or regardless of whether having a, you know, not acquiring a purpose or an actual point to your existence. Being yet another obstacle on this planet because you're going to live for fame, sex, money, fashion, whatever it is. There's no real purpose to it. It's not essential. It's a byproduct of an unnatural society. And I'm not only speaking in regards to the individuals with gender confusion. I'm speaking about 99% of our populace. Everyone's addicted to Adderall, Xanax, liquor, dope, hypersexual tendencies. It's a very sad state of affairs. The bar is very low and nobody's really reining it in or putting the train back on the tracks and saying, hey, regardless of whether it's a gay pride parade or a hypersexual straight porn convention, it, irregardless, man, that's unfulfilling and unsustainable at a certain point, especially after you've been on this planet for multiple decades. They're supposed to have mentally and spiritually evolved a bit. It's unjustifiable. You feel me? When you're young, 16, 19, 20, you're going to have these tendencies or issues. You know, you're going to be, you know, raging with hormones, testosterone, so on and so forth, yeah, progressing through your adolescence, puberty, so on and so forth. But if you've been on this planet multiple decades and you have that identical mindset and disposition in comparison with what you were at age 16, fast forward to age 40, 50, that's what we're seeing in our society. People aren't evolving. They're staying in that hypersexual, restless, self-obsessed teenage mindset, and uh, our planet can't sustain it, okay? People remain in that sort of thought process or mindset. They can't sustain it either. I mean, it's not only destroying our planet. People are destroying themselves. They're unknowingly sabotaging themselves by hyper-focusing on the meaningless, unfulfilling life aspects instead of developing a minor appreciation for the paramount life aspects. By the time somebody comes across, you know, and we're trying to relate, hey, man, you got more then they want you aware of internally. You don't have to hyper-focus on the externals, whether it's your anatomy, whatever's hanging between your legs, jewelry, fashion, attention, fame, satisfaction, entertainment, impulse, desire. That's irrelevant. It's out the window. That's not the solution-based soldier mindset. That's what the elitists in power and the society that was designed by those elitists to maintain their positions encourages you to do, to remain in that stagnant, unfulfilling, pointless, damaging, unsustainable mindset. It's never too late to turn it around, homie. I'm the kind of individual where majority of society's factions, societal aspects consider me the enemy because I don't pull punches and I don't favor one demographic or aspect. It's all about reality, homie. It's solution-based purpose, irrefutable logic. 
connecting the dots. It's called deductive reasoning, and it's never too late to try it. Hit that notification button, though. Let me know what you think, not only when it comes to Eminem's daughter having her confusion in regards to her gender, but when it comes to society in general and everybody hyper-focusing on the unfulfilling aspects, escalating it to one extreme or another. What do you think about that?